You know, there's this saying that uh, you ought to be the change you want to see. That is why I decided after seven years of working with a wonderful nonprofit on the West Bank, um, working after school with students, working during the summertime with students, I decided it was time for me to go on ahead and make the, you know, take the leap and see what it was like to be a full-time teacher. Nicole Moliere shares her days co-teaching math Bonne with friend. mentor teacher Charlie DiPietro at Harriet Tubman Elementary in Algiers. She takes evening classes at Xavier University, earning a Master of Arts in Teaching degree. After a second year teaching solo at Tubman with more classes at Xavier, she'll graduate and commit to two more years in a classroom at Tubman or one of its partner charter schools. Kenya Campbell is the program director for the Norman C. Francis Teacher Residency at Xavier. She believes the residency is better preparation than the traditional student teaching she experienced in her own training. I think it gives teachers the experience that they need to be able to, to keep them in the classroom. And that's what we want to do. We want to keep teachers in the classroom, and when they're successful, they're more likely to stay. I think this experience, coupled with the coursework that they get from us, also with the year-long residency experience with their co-teacher, and then the networking that they get with the faculty and staff here, as well as their other cohorts, give them exactly what they need to be successful as teachers. Send them some love, hands down, send love. You took away one ten, so now you have how many tens? Snap it up. And then you have how many ones, Jalen? DiPietro has been a curriculum coach for two years at Tubman and says his mentor teacher role is a natural progression. I think through mentorship programs like the one that um, Nicole and I are participating in, it's a really great way for people to um, get the experience of being in a classroom without feeling so much pressure in their first year to perform or to command the audience of 30 students staring back at them. So I think that by giving people an opportunity to ease into it is a really um, interesting way to get more teachers. Hmm, Miss Moliere, should we cross off of that six first or what do you think? I don't know, where are we borrowing from, Jane? The thousands. From the thousands? I'm so appreciative of the fellowship that we have and having Nicole in my room. I think it's been an awesome opportunity to be able to have someone who brings a whole separate career and life knowledge to a room um, where we can constantly push each other to grow and can constantly push the students in our classroom to reach um, really high academic standards. I think programs like the Francis Residency are attempting to change the idea of what it means to be a teacher. Um, to have people with a wealth of worldly experience come in and share that with students, um, come in and share that in a progressive type of school environment will, I think, appeal to folks who want a different, maybe alternative um, way to enter into the school system rather than having started in your early 20s and you know get your degree as people traditionally do and become teachers. Those of us, people like me, uh, who have had different careers, but who want to give back and who want to make a change, it allows you to come in at a pace that is conducive to learning. So not only are the students learning, but in a program like the Francis Residency, the people who are in the residency, we're learning too. 